Good morning. What? From Universal Studios. Orlando, Florida. We're doing it. Did I sound like the old commercial that used to be on Nickelodeon? You did, you did. We are here. We, we have gotta get one our tickets. day, one day tickets. We have one day hopper. Yes. Um, we are very fortunate enough for someone to that works here let us use one of their guest passes. Yeah. So we still need to get our annual passes, but this is like, like a, little a dry run. Tester. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Hopefully so it'll excited. just it'll just make us need to get them that much yes. more. So we've been talking to friends, game planning how we're gonna do this because we only have the one day. Yeah. We have access to Volcano Bay, but we're only gonna do the two the like, theme parks. Yeah. Alrighty, let's go! Ooh, it's two parks and one guy now. We're in Universal Studios. Ah! We're in it. We're in it. I've never we're been in this one. You've never been in this one? Yeah, I've only been in Islands of Adventure. I've never been in the other one, it's super weird. Ah! And I'll, the only experience I have with this park, the two times I've been here is Halloween Horror Nights. <laughs> so it's like super anxious and there's like creepy things everywhere. <gasps> This looks Bird. delicious. <gasps> Ooh. Oh my god, is that a... That's what they used to have at Disney. <laughs> Guys, it's official. We're seeing our first bits of Harry Potter. And Sarah is feeling it all. Oh. You ready? We're going this way. Universal, what's up with the clapping? The, what? the clapping. What's up with the clapping at yeah. This is the first store. I, so I've gone to just hot me. And I had a Bellatrix shirt. Bellatrix is my favorite to wear back. And she was in that ride. And she's hurting, but she's not wearing it. Wait, I can look at all this merchandise. This is too much, and it's amazing. I have this exact thing. Oh, yeah, you do. You have that. The time turner, and you have some other things too. I have the prophecy. You have the prophecy, the Marauder's Map, Bellatrix's Wand. Oh no! Are you scared? Um, it's nighttime. No, we go into the creepiest place on the face of the earth. Go in the creepiest store and find the creepiest thing. Do you know what that is, right? This is unreal. Look at all the detail up there. Look at all the creepy crawlies. Look at all the greatness. Look at that giant troll foot. This has been my favorite thing so far. <laughs> Look at, it's Hermione's, Ron's, Harry's. Our last stop before venturing. To into like the actual, like to me this feels like separate. Yeah. From everything else. Shenanigans for all. That is for me. Wow. This is so funny because it's like real things. Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, is that Umbridge? Oh my god. 12 Grimwald place there he is. Ooh, creature. I'm a fan of the water. I'm a fan of the water too, but I, I wonder if it looks like they like kind of do stuff with it. So open. Like you can see everything from everywhere. Did you not expect that? No. Yeah. It's very open. Now we're gonna try this like crazy ride that everyone talks about. I've heard it compared to like Buzz Lightyear, right? Yeah, but I heard it's better than Buzz. <gasps> oh, look at those aliens! 
I'm a, Sarah's going down. What? You're going down? No way. I'm gonna beat you. I'm gonna get Galactic Hero here. All right. That was a lot of fun. A little confusing for the first time because it's not as the targets aren't as easy to see where you're supposed to hit on the um aliens. But we were cosmically average. It was disorienting how many times you could spin. Did you realize that you could shoot the other car yeah, and make I them think spin? That that's what caused us to spin. Yeah, they would shoot our car. Yeah. Scoundrels. Oh my, this is gonna be good. Are you excited? Yes. I was just saying how like we've seen so many commercials over the past two decades of like attractions for this park and this ride. And we're finally gonna get to go on it and it is super quiet in here. I got my adventure passport. And the adventure begins. Oh my god, look at this. We're in it we're in the forest. What do you think of that one? That was interesting. I think, it was, I think it was good, like it's yeah, it's an like older the, attraction. I like the ride vehicle. Um, the ride vehicle was cool and it reminds me reminiscent of like... Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan's flight, definitely. You know what route, what scene I'm talking about? What's going on? about to be a party, I think. Oh! So we've been here two hours just in our third attraction and walked throughout all of Diagon Alley. So I think we're doing well. Hopefully we can get a bunch more stuff done before it gets too busy. Can and we can hop over, over to... to yeah, island. Okay, we're gonna go just go see the wait times for Transformers because it's kind of on the way. But look at who's out. I don't think I could pay Sarah to go meet him. But there's Beetlejuice. You wanna go meet him? No. No? All right. I think I'm probably gonna be more excited for this one. I have no idea what the ride is, but I know the movies. Sarah doesn't really know the movies. So, uh... I know the first yeah, I don't know if this is based on a particular one. Oh my god, look at this scorpion tail. Look at that. Was that your favorite ride so far? I think it might. I think I like that more than Gringotts. But I, I like Gringotts more. I like I like the like the depth of field difference where there's like screen in the background but like real stuff. What is he doing? Alrighty, we have our virtual line time. This is super cool, as if we do it on the app, and I think they just scan it, and I think it's gonna be that Cool. Not sure. <laughs> oh, oh, we're in our first, so this is like the newest kind of queue that we'll have ever experienced, right? So what we do here is in this first floor, wait till these lights turn purple, but we get to go just look at the different hosts. Now we get to go to the second floor. Look at those hashtag panda. This is so weird. Like, is this the hubgrass, but to Universal people? Supposedly, Sarah really wants to go on this, and I really like it too. I, I went on it in 2011 when I did the HHN that, that year. Um, but right now, it's just 20 minutes. The zooming panel was cool. Um, it's weird that these are all very similar. I mean, it's like all simulators with like different ride mechanisms, which does make a huge difference with how many people around you, how they maneuver and everything, but I'm liking it so far. I like it a lot. So, how was Rip Ride Rocket? It's crazy. I took my favorite St. Louis boss song. Really? Give me all your love it. Yeah. And then, I almost liked that out, but I didn't. You know what, it's weird enough, I, I felt like I might have too. I never, I've heard people say they black out before on roller coasters and I've never had that sensation ever. And I don't even remember that loop-de-loop. -loop. Sarah, Sarah wants to watch Marilyn because she wants, she's worried we're not going to get a show in. So this is, this is going to be Sarah's show fix that we're going to go watch Marilyn. Ladies, ladies. Here and there, they're gonna do soft opening, so we'll see. Alrighty, friends, 
we're finally going to get on Hogwarts Express. Okay. Go 40 minutes. And it's, it's air conditioned here, so I'd rather yeah. wait 40 minutes here than 40 minutes for Rupert Rocket. Yeah, I kind of needed a screen break, anyways. So I'm so excited. Peter's never been to Island Hill. At Island. all. And we've been killing it this morning. We did. What have we done so far? Like, well, everything. Now we're at hogs me, right? Please respect the spell limits. Well, here we have three broomsticks. Oh, this looks like the movie. Up there, at least, and back there. Definitely seen Hermione drunk back there before. So this is where I ate when I came here. And she's gonna redeem herself. I panicked and ordered something I didn't like. I dropped it on the floor. Still ate it. Hey. It wasn't too too bad. What'd you say? 30 minutes? Yeah, it was kinda long. It was, but we got fresh food. They were out of salad. <laughs> but Peter got more potatoes from it. But it was expensive. It was forty. It was forty-five dollars. I got pear cider. They don't have soda. It's so weird to say soda. I knew she wouldn't get what I was saying when I said pop. We have a cool like little table. What's nice here is they have everything at your table so you don't have to go and get all this stuff. Including this. Including malt vinegar, which is my fave. Ready to manja? Yeah. That was really good. Yeah. There were some goods. Mm -hmm. And there were some not we, so We didn't goods. need the not so good, which was mac and cheese. We thought that we would need it because we were worried about the portion. Quantity sizes. But um, it was just like not. Yeah, but, but I will say, also. so I got the shepherd's pie with roasted potatoes. Mm -hmm. Shepherd's pie was good, but the potatoes were like not seasoned at all. In the and pie. And it was a little cold. Yeah, in the pie. Um, potatoes, on it, I got roasted potatoes, like roasted onions nice and potatoes. Steak. Oh my god. So One of the best potatoes I've had in a long time. And I will say my favorite thing so far this entire day, better than any ride I've ridden, better than any food I've eaten, is this pumpkin fizz. It's not alcoholic, it's just like a pumpkin pop, but it's like, you can see chunks of, a, of pumpkin in there, and it's like, I don't, I'm, I'm like sipping on it because I don't want it to end. Yeah. It's like fall in a drink, yeah, so that's but cold. Number one, the roasted potatoes were number two. Three was the fish and chips. We think they're equal to Epcot. And here's why. There's two parts to fish and chips. The fish are fish and chips, and it's the fish and then the breading. And I think, did you agree with what I said? Um, I like, I like the crispiness of, of Epcot's better, and it's like thicker at Epcot, wouldn't you say? Yeah, yeah. This is Epcot, more of like a lighter um, I like breading. the flavor of the breading, but it is lighter here. Yeah, I like so the So it's flavor. not as deep fried, so it's probably a little healthier. But the fish was good here, but the fish at Epcot's great. Yeah. So like I like the fish at Epcot with the amount of, of unhealthy breading they do, but I like the um, you like the season of the, the season bread. of the breading here. I like the season of the breading here, but I like the like I like the thicker. I, I think it's like two bucks more here, but you get another Three fish. Pieces. We're gonna get a butter beer, but later. But I'm I'm sipping on this because I don't want it to end because it's literally it's probably like my favorite drink I've had since I've been in Disney World. Yeah, and we're not even in Disney. <laughs> Well, I mean, like in Central Florida, since moving to Central Florida, oh. then this I is got my favorite. Honorable drink. mention is the pear juice. Pear or juice the is pear good. Cider. cider. It was pear really good. Like it was forty-five dollars, but like I feel good. I feel like I redeemed myself. Since your last visit. My last visit. And I think now we need to go walk around Hogsmeade because we haven't even like we got off the train and came over here. Look at this Quidditch set we just found. The Bludger. Look at that castle. Look at that school. Wow. That thing right there, you might not be able to read it, 75 minutes, but Sarah says it's honestly worth it, and so does Dom. Oh my god, look at this! <gasps> the mirror! Big difference between vacationing here and living here. We know there's a lot of details in that, in that queue that are amazing, um, but we're going to skip them and do single rider because the wait's probably only 20 to 30 minutes rather than 75. 
and it's just the two of us. So we can eat that expense now because we know we're going to come back when we get our passes. Well, well, that was an interesting experience with Journey into Hogwarts. No, Forbidden Journey. Oh, Forbidden Journey. Oh my god. We decided, we told you last, we decided to do single rider, which we waited like 20 minutes. Did single rider. We were one, two cars apart. First of all, that was that's probably my favorite attraction ever. I think I might like it more than Flight of Passage. Can't wait to hear the feedback from that comment. But it's really cool because it's both simulation and animatronic. Yeah. Um, but we got stuck for about 15 seconds. Since we were only two cars apart, we both suck at different spots for about 15 seconds. The ride started back up again. So at the end, Sarah was waiting for me. She's like, hey, they said that we can go right back on it to kind of make up for it stopping. So then we got to go right back on it. We got to go right back on it together then. So that was awesome. So we just went on that back to back, only waiting 20 minutes. Yeah. And I think it's my new favorite attraction ever. Look at these dinosaurs. Oh, that looks fun. Um, we didn't put our stuff in a locker because for some reason it's the only ride that's not free. And then we do single rider. We get put together, which is awesome, but we got put in the front row, so wish us luck. Sarah got soaked. I got pretty wet. You can see the coloration. Changes. But I was on the, well, we were in the front row. Got and I was on the right side. So literally it was just like, on my lap. I highly suggest if you've got a party of two or three, and the lines are long, check out Single Rider because we've been killing it with that yeah. today. We walked right on, they kept us together. It was a 45 minute wait. Yeah, that was a 45 minute wait and we walked on to front row. This looks like something else. Here's the blast off tube. Right until I get going upside down the side with corkscrew. So exciting. Are you ready? This was the one ride like we were most excited for here in Ireland. islands through the gate but we've got a plan and here's the plan because fast and furious supercharged is open it's got a 60 minute wait but it has a single rider line so i think we're going to try to get that we're going to walk to the other gate because it's faster than taking the hogwarts express try to from where we are in the park so wish us luck we're going to go try to get on single rider people are walking in it is in technical rehearsal so we may experience, they're not letting us do virtual. They're gonna do virtual line, which is awesome because that was really smooth was really well. with Jimmy. And they're not doing single rider because of it. Oh man, look at this queue. Look at these cars. Family forever. There's good airflow in here, so it's not too, too hot. Look at that vision beats with the truck and the movie going on. Projected too. We will load y'all onto the party buses soon. Speaking of family, it's Tej. Hey, what's up, Tej? All right, all right. What's up, Mia? Hey, Tej, just welcoming these good people to our family. How their rides coming along? The rides are ready to roll out and roll out in stock. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Just got a heads up from Hobbs. The FBI is about to raid your location. Oh, man, they always ruining our fun. So, what did you think? Okay, I'm still getting used to the whole 100% simulator ride. I, I liked it. I've seen videos of Kong, it looks, and that's what Dom said, he said he heard it's like Kong. I think the ride mechanism is the exact same kind of thing like Kong, Kong does. I think that's what you do, you get on a bus like that, and then you kind of, uh, you go through screens. Here's my two complaints. It was way short and uh, there's helicopters in it and they look super CGI. But besides that, like, we haven't been on Kong yet, so if you've been on Kong and you think it's similar, like, that was a really cool experience to be in a ride, yeah. a ride vehicle and like that. Basically a screen's on either side of you. That and above you, and well not above, but like huge, huge like in front and sides. like you're, you're going or like this. Yeah, I don't even know if I would want to wait 45 minutes for that because it's just so short. Yeah. But that it was, was cool that we were able to Day. On day one, and I still like. I grew up watching a bunch the first couple of one of those movies, so that was really awesome. I love to, like, the rock. I love Luda. yeah, 
We've been going. We need to rejuvenate. So we're back here to get some butter beer because we haven't gotten it yet. And we need like six gallons of water, I think. If there is a show. It's going on right now. Don't worry. First, first visit to uh, Wizarding World of Harry Potter and still got that social media life going on right here. Look at my face. <laughs> That's the artist at work. So we got the frozen butter beer. It's my, it. it's my first butter beer. Sarah's had it before and we got some waters too. I think we're calling it a close after this, right? We're gonna enjoy this over there and walk out, right? It's my first sip of frozen butter beer. Any butter, any butter beer. It's like a cream soda. Yeah. And, I and love Peter is soda. a cream soda person. I am not. I'll take a frozen drink. I love it. Hey, everybody. We're home. We're playing with Eve because we missed her. But Sarah had got an idea. We've been getting some awesome feedback about you guys trying out Expedition Everest, and I'm super happy. Expedition Everest. <laughs> Expedition Roasters. Super happy some of you have been able to order some of the coffee. We'll put the link down below. It's nice to get discounts on coffee, especially when they're really good. But Sarah saw in comments that you guys who have ordered it have been like, this stuff is delicious. You almost don't even need creamer or flavoring to it. So Sarah came with the idea, she's like, let's make frappuccinos. So I brewed some of the banana, the Skipper's Brew Jungle Banana Pie, because it's got a very strong banana flavor to it, almost like literally 50% coffee, 50% straight banana. And I think that would be good inside a frappuccino. So we're gonna, I brewed some of that up. We got some almond chocolate, chocolate almond milk. We're gonna, what's that called, blender? Yeah. We're gonna blend it up with the coffee, the almond milk, and some ice and see if we can get ourselves some nice homemade <laughs> Disney themed frappuccinos because we've got editing to do still because our vlog, it's 9.30, our vlog for the day is still not up. Or started. Or started. Why? Why? It is one in the morning and we're going to bed now. But we had an amazing day. Sarah fell asleep on the couch. I'm gonna wake her up in a minute and tell her, like, let's go. I was finishing up some edits on the podcast and the vlog. Um, Today was a great day. It was a lot of fun. Look how tired she is. It was a lot of fun at Universal. If anything, it just gave us a million and a half more reasons to get our, our annual passes and get them soon, hopefully. But we want to really thank our, our two friends that helped us get into the parks today. We really appreciate them. And we wanted to say thank you again because it got us to get in there and really see all the little details, the rides that we haven't known about or have heard about from close friends who get to go. and. We're excited for the time to come, hopefully soon, to get those passes. But it was, it was a great day at the park, and we, how, about how lucky we got with Fast and Furious. But it is late, and I'm real tired. And we gotta get up to edit this long vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you if you made it all the way to the end of this vlog. We really, 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 really appreciate it. You give up your precious time, because that's all we really have is whatever time we have. And so for you to give up some of that for us, we are extremely grateful. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.